Oh, this is so nasty. Let me show you this. Oh, we got in there. I cannot believe I did that, guys. I made a big mistake. This is this, what they don't tell you about junk removal. and all my subscribers. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Austin. I'm the owner of Kraken Junk Removal, Tri-Cities number one, top choice for junk removal and home clean out. So today we have two jobs on the schedule, but we're over here in Unicoi. We're assisting a local government organization with a junk removal pickup. So they assist the elderly, uh, those who are disabled, those who can't help themselves. Uh, with with cleanup type jobs, so they reached out to us, asked us if this is something we can do. So we said, yeah, as long as you know we can access the area, uh, we can do the job. So we got the job probably about two weeks ago when I was on vacation down in Florida. Um, but it's a net thirty job, and it's over a thousand dollars. So that means our company policy is we require half up front. So that took about a week or so to. Um, get ironed out and collect payment for that so then we ran into a problem my daughter was admitted to the hospital she's only five months old last thursday today's monday and luckily she's okay but it's tough to see your little one sitting in the hospital bed a little infant so luckily she's okay like i said she's on medication she's at home she's doing good uh, but then we ran into some weather problems so this job's been hanging over our heads so we're excited to kind of get it done get it out of the way so we can move forward and that way the customer can move forward as well. But um, it's a pretty decent sized job. The customer says, oh, you just gotta go up a little driveway. No, we're, we're going up a mountain. Yes, up a mountain. The customer says he has to bag up all the stuff because there's all kinds of animals out there. He says there's bears out there, all kinds of animals that keep getting into the trash. So I hope it's still bagged up. But if not, yes, that's right. We got our hyper tough, 55 gallon 20 pack of trash bags just in case you always want to be prepared so me talking let's get to work all right so i'm just kidding it wasn't up a mountain i thought it was it's actually a different driveway so let me show you what we got so we got all of this trash here some of it's going to need to be rebagged like i said i got those bags uh we got all these mattresses. Now, a lot of this junk was sitting outside, and it rained the day before, so it was wet. The worst part of this job was bagging up all that trash you see there, and it was very hot, very humid. That just made the smell even worse. Uh, luckily, we didn't have to battle any animals, anything like that, but we had enough trash bags to get the job done, and uh, the customer was very happy with the service that we provided, and we had plenty of space in the vehicles to get the job done. All right, well we got two of the mattresses in. We're gonna line the bottom of the trailer so stuff doesn't fall through. And we got this one. We got one more back there. All right, you ready, Daniel? Yeah. Let's go. There we go. All right. You push it over. Is this a, a little bit bigger than the other one? Uh, might be. I don't know. Here. Does it go long ways? Yeah. Daniel, you can do it. You can yes. do it. Daniel. All right. Oh, this one looks heavy. Man, all kind of creepy crawlies on here. Ooh. Oh man, that one's busted. Whoa, man, that thing was nasty. Got stuff flying out of this. I don't know how long this stuff's been sitting here. I don't want to know. Oh, that's all right. I'm just kidding. This is so nasty. Let me show you this. Oh, we got in there. This is a bag. Hard to see, but full of feces. Oh, it smells so bad. 
this is this, what they don't tell you about junk removal. This is some of the stuff, yes, that you have to deal with. And you gotta deal with it. So we might have to rebag some of this stuff. Oh man, it's nasty. So we're all finished here. It's 12 o'clock, we made good progress. Uh, the customer said leave all that stuff that you see here behind me. So we got all the stuff here that was on the ground picked up. Refrigerator, recliner, trash. You can kind of see, huh? That's my van. All full. We got the six and a half by 12 trailer. All full. And we did bring a little smaller trailer to put all the metal on so that we can recycle this. So we're gonna go ahead, head to the landfill, end of the scrap yard, and then on to job number two for today. So, man, this was a big job. A lot of nasty feces. Oh man, it was it was bad, but I'm glad it wasn't a lot. So uh, we were able to get it done in about an hour and a half. So, all right, enough of me talking. It's time to get out of here. So once we were done with the job, our first order of business was finding a gas station to get cleaned up. We couldn't find one quick enough, so it was nice to step into some AC, get washed up, cleaned up a little bit, and get something to drink, get something to eat, get some fuel in our system. <laughs> That's their job. <laughs> oh. oh, that was a good one. You didn't get that immediately. I did. I did. Somebody's got to do it. Good. Good perspective to have. Here we are doing a quick, easy pickup for a local small business here in the Tri Cities. We help them out about once or twice a month. And we got a little bit of everything, some junk, some cardboard, some ventilation debris, some drywall. I cannot believe I did that, guys. I made a big mistake. First time it's ever happened. A customer called me and said, you were supposed to be here between two and four. I was, to pick up a couch. And I totally forgot about this job because everything I had going on with my daughter in the hospital, and then trying to get this job done in Unicoi, kept getting pushed off. Uh, the, the job didn't save to my app that I schedule all my jobs in. And so, yeah, we're gonna head over there now. Luckily she's understanding. 